Just feel bad for him, you know? Eddie, I mean, not Christopher. Christopher's great, he's smart, adorable, funny, in a kid way, he just needs a little extra help. Cerebral palsy, right? Aunt Pepper said he got stuck in the birth canal. There were some complications and then... Well, did Aunt Peppa explain what's happening with the child care situation? Because there are programs. And he's working on it. He's got insurance and there's other stuff through the city, state, and county, but the requirements are all different. You can apply for one and it can disqualify you from another. It's a whole giant bureaucratic mess. I, I can't get my head around it. I was a nurse, remember? The only people who truly navigate a bureaucracy are the people who work inside it. It shouldn't be that way, though. Eddie always wondering how to take care of Christopher, and Christopher feeling like a burden on his dad. Well, Eddie doesn't feel that way, does he? Not even a little. He uh, <laughs> loves that kid like crazy. He's a really great dad. So does this boy crush on Eddie mean that you're finally ready to uh, move on from Abby? That's cute. I have some news. I found an apartment. It's not far from work. Two bedrooms, secure building, parking included. So you're really moving out? I told you that I wasn't gonna be able to live here forever. Look, when I left Doug, I didn't have a plan. I just grabbed up all my stuff and ran as fast and as far as I possibly could. But then you convinced me to start over, make a brand new life in LA. And I was right about that. You were. But it's just not gonna feel like mine unless I'm standing on my own two feet. That's the only way I'm gonna know it's real. 